What is going on guys, my name is Cosmix and I am back again with some Black Ops 2 gameplay. I am playing some arms race on slums as you can see. And um, right off the bat, I'm really enjoying this arms race, that the, arms race sorry, that they've brought in as a bonus game mode. And I really do hope to keep it on in Call of Duty Ghosts or any other future titles they plan on. Because due to the fact that you get um, 150 score per kill. Your score streaks rack up really fast, especially partnered with Hardline and that. You know, everyone loves getting the score streaks or kill streaks or whatever you want to say, and um, bringing a hard on the other team. Everyone loves that, so that's why I think it's quite a popular game mode. I enjoy it anyway. It's fast paced, it's fun. So yeah, I'd definitely love to see that back in the next Call of Duty. But anyway, the class I'm using is the AN94. The attachments I've got is Quick Draw Stock and Silencer using the Primary Gunfighter Wildcard. As for me perks, I've got Hardline and Perk 1, Perk 2 is Toughness and Perk 3 is Dexterity. I've got the Cap 40 as a secondary and as me lethal equipment I have got a C4. I don't have no tactical equipment because I swapped that out for the Cap 40. But anyway, back to the gameplay. I started off this gameplay and alright, I ended up with 36 and 8 I believe it is, I may be a little bit wrong. but. We started off losing because my team weren't really playing good and I don't really like to like slag off my other team because imagine if one of them were watching this, you know, sometimes you get bad games, sometimes you get good games, you know, you know, it could, it might not even be them playing, it could be a friend, so I don't necessarily like to like slack off my teammates, but anyway, I end up bringing it, like, I start off alright, but then we end up winning in the end, like we're down by quite a few kills and I just start bringing me A game I suppose you could say. I start like jump shot and switching me weapons there fast instead of reloading, actually using them little tips that appear at the bottom of the screen when it loads. Um, yeah, and I was kind of playing semi claw I suppose you could say, if you don't know what claw is it's the way you hold your controller in which many um, pro gamers use that. And it's where basically you hold the controller and you've got your index finger positioned to touch um, A, B and X, Y or press, sorry. So you can still like jump and aim or reload and aim at the, all at the same time. Oh, I'm saying that you can't really aim or reload. But anyway, that was before I think scuffs became pretty big. And now, oh wait, actually, what I meant by semi claw was... I kind of like switch between holding the controller normal then randomly flick me index finger up and hit A. It, it, it kind of works I suppose every now and again. But anyway back to what I was about to say was I would actually like to buy a scuff just to try out you know the paddles and the trigger stops which they kind of made famous for. But the only thing that's stopping me is the fact that next gen consoles are coming out in about 5 months while the Xbox One is. So it would kind of, to me, if I was going to buy a scuff, I'd also like go all out there and buy a pair of Astros as well. I've got a pair of Turtle Beach X, um, what are the X42s, I believe it is. Yeah, they are. But I'd still prefer a pair of Astro A40s or A50s. But if I'm going to spend like 300 to 400 pounds on a controller and a headset, I want it to last longer than five months because we're not, we're not like entirely sure that. The scuff controllers that are being used now can be used on the next Xbox or PlayStation as well as the Astros. Well, we know the Astros mic won't work due to the fact that the connection cable will be different. But um, I actually, uh, well, we're on the topic of consoles. I actually can't decide between whether I want the Xbox One or the PS4. And now everyone is in favour for the PS4. And I was right. I'm a really indecisive person. And... It took me a while to come to a conclusion and on the day Microsoft decided to um, backtrack and take all the DRM policies off, remove the always online, allowed you to use games the wherever, uh, whatever way you want. I literally said that day to a friend, you know what, I've made me mad up, I'll get the PS4. Then Microsoft go and do that and now I don't even know what to pick. I'll probably still end up getting the PS4, probably because it's cheaper. I'll be able to get it day one. And um, one of my friends are getting it, to be honest. And they're practically the same console, really. The only difference is the exclusives, which is one of the only things keeping me kind of tied to the Xbox, I suppose, in Titanfall, Halo. And there was another one. It's, it's, I don't know whether Dead Rising is an exclusive or just a, um, a temporary exclusive, but Dead Rising 3 looks friggin' awesome. 
But yeah, um, uh, so I'll probably end up getting the P I'll probably end up getting both on saying that actually in the long run, but as for the console that I'm going to get day one, it's it's looking at the moment it's going to be the PS4, and I hope, I wish to bring Call of Duty and Battlefield 4 out after the next-gen consoles will come out, because when they come out for the current consoles, I'm going to want to get them, but then I'm going to have to wait, because I know it's going to be worth waiting for the newer version, but yeah. So anyway, guys, the gameplay is coming to an end. I end up getting all my streaks going at ham, I suppose you say. I've never really used that term. But anyway, guys, I have been Cosmics. Please follow me on Twitter. I tweet random stuff sometimes. Um, try and promote my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you all later.